Okay, everyone. Um, this is going to be a video on the WWE Network and also a video response to Truth Slayer. Um, he posted a video earlier about the WWE Network and the recent announcements around them. Uh, he just kind of wanted to start a conversation. Um, it's an important subject. And, um, yeah, he kind of wanted to see what everyone else uh, thought of it. Um, just curious what everyone thinks. And I, I kind of am also. And, uh I don't know, I, I felt like doing a video on the network just because it's such a big, uh, plays such a big impact on the industry and everything. So, um, yeah, um, about me with the network, um, what I do, I pretty much just keep up with the live events, like um, all the pay-per-views and everything. And also, uh, I'll watch main event from time to time. Uh, NXT also, uh, I'll watch that weekly. So, those are pretty much my main uses for it. I don't watch the classic stuff that often. Um, yeah, I mean, all all the uh, all the pay per view events that have happened in the past fifteen years that I've uh, wanted to watch, I pretty much own on DVD or I've seen it already online before the network came out. So. Um, I don't know if I want to rewatch some I'll go on there do that um, So yeah, I don't really use it too often on uh, video on demand um, Also if anyone cares I use it on two devices I think the announcement said the average is 2.5 use it on my phone and I use it on my laptop so um, First of all with the announcement they actually uh, had a little bit of a positive today uh, they said Raw um, ratings or viewers, I don't know, I forgot what it was already, went up by 5%, SmackDown went up by 3%, and then uh, uh, total attendance went up by 11%, which is also a great one. Um, let's see, uh, they announced 14 million, I think they are, they've lost from that this year, um, not quite sure, I just saw 14 million somewhere, but um, I don't really think they... Counted, I read, I read some online, um, it could be true, could be not true, but it was kind of captivating, I guess, that they included the, uh, the expenses of the three movies that the studios have released this year. I think it's like the Scooby-Doo one, o Oculus or something like that, and then there's another, and then uh, I heard Oculus or whatever that's called uh, did very well, and then Scooby-Doo uh, made a profit, and I'm not sure about the other. But they didn't include the profits from that. That might be a little something with that. Um, let's see. Um, I'm just trying to think of this from memory, pretty much. Um, I think they gained 33,000 subscribers to the network over uh, end of WrestleMania to about the end of June. Um, they actually added about... A hundred, almost a hundred seventy thousand, I think, subscribers. But they also lost a hundred, somewhere around a hundred thirty thousand, maybe. I don't know. Um, hundred thirty-eight thousand, I think, something like that. Um, but that that's kind of a big problem because that that's a lot of people they lost there. So that means the network must not be satisfactory enough for them. Uh, it might not be worth the cheap price of nine ninety nine. I'm not trying to sound like Michael Cole here, but. Um, nine ninety nine is pretty cheap, even if you had to be uh, guaranteed for six months. But that also brings another thing that was brought up. Um, I think they're planning to do a uh, one month, I think twenty dollars subscription thing. Um, also, I think if you wanted to pay the sixty up front, you could do that. Then have the six months. Uh, that's something I was kind of looking at when it was um, just about to be released. If they if you could just pay right away, um, but it looks like they could do something like that. Um, another another thing they kind of announced that they're laying off seven percent of the staff to make up for uh, the lackluster amount of subscribers they've got. I think totals at seventy thousand right now. They need to be around nine hundred thousand to break even or make just a little bit of a profit. They're looking to get. They were looking to get one million by the end of this year, but I'm not sure if that will happen. Um, so they're looking at laying off seven percent 
uh, more, I don't know if it's more people or people that are being released right now. Um, so, yeah, they said they could break even within 500,000 subscribers at next year, I believe. So, um, yeah, they're, they're making a lot of budget, bud, budget cuts. There we go. Um, again, it's still nine ninety nine for a month for six months. Uh, for six months, I think it's over $200 just for the pay-per-views alone. Um, you get NXT with that. You get all the documentaries. You get the shows. You get, um, well, not d documentaries. DVD documentaries you don't get all of, but the network specials are always pretty cool. Um, let's see. You, and, yeah, you get every pay-per-view WWE and WCW is put out, plus all the classic ones before that. Um, and then they're expanding their territory with the network. Um, I think 170 territories and countries they're putting, they're, they're uh, making this, uh, uh, the network um, available to. Just that the big decisions that are decision, the big point there is that the UK won't get it until at least October, and that's uh, the second biggest country in terms of uh, WWE sales, that's their second biggest market, I guess, other than the U.S. And, um, oh, Canada, uh, with the Rogers, I don't know, Rogers Network or something like that. Uh, I guess it's pretty big in Canada. Um, they have, they're going to be doing like a channel like HBO, I guess, uh, where it's, I think I read like $12, $12, $13 a month, just a little higher than in the U.S., to subscribe to that. I don't know how they're going to do video on demand or anything, but yeah, at least Canada gets something. <laughs> um, let's see. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it for the announcements. Um, now it's just the kind of uh, the part of the video where I talk about what I would kind of do to improve it. Uh, first of all, you could probably start putting full nitros out there, maybe even uh, full thunders. Um, I definitely love to see Nitro, see if they could put any around the same time, uh, time frame that, um, uh, WWE and WCW are going against each other. See, um, what was all going on, all the slander between the two promotions and everything during, um, a vital time in pro wrestling history. That'd just be cool to see, um, just something more than just the pay-per-views against each other. See the weekly shows. And everything um and then um i don't know i guess they, they can add more rods right now they don't have too much i'm not saying to add all of them but um i think from the years i've watched in past like when i grew up watching wrestling mid 2000s pretty much uh there's only like one or two episodes per year i'd like to see a lot more than that maybe like 10 would be fine but yeah more than one or two. Same with SmackDown. SmackDown doesn't doesn't have as much or have as many. Um, see another kind of idea. I don't know if this would be a totally horrible idea or not. Um, and maybe some live events. Just stream that randomly on the network. Well, not randomly, but I don't know. Like the MSG one, that'd be cool to see in a live event atmosphere, house show, however you want to say it. Uh, that'd just be pretty cool to see something different. I don't know if they'd add commentary or not. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of more things. Oh, um, they could do like a sports center type of show, certain time, certain days. I don't know if it'd be a daily thing or not, but every few days at least. Have Renee Young host it. I don't know who'd co-host it or anything, but that'd be fun to see. Just. More recaps of Raw, SmackDown, uh, interviews and stuff, backstage follow you could do on there. Um, yeah, they could also put some of the YouTube stuff they do. Uh, JBL and Cole show, Cole show, they could do that um, a few episodes at a time maybe because I know they're not 30 minutes. Um, there's that. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe some... Some enhancements they could do just to make it a overall better viewing experience. Um, the little mouse, or not mouse thing, uh, the little tracker thing where it keeps track of um, uh, where you are on it. If you kind of want to rewatch a move or anything, 
Um, you kind of have to try to move by as little bit as possible. If you want to just go back 15 seconds, you probably end up at least three minutes back. That kind of bugs me a little bit. And then, um, oh, I actually, uh, in the announcements, I believe they put, they'll do a resume play feature. If you exit out, I don't, I don't know if it's, if you exit out or anything, it'll go back to right where you left off. I don't know. Um, let's see, what else can they do? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently viewed shows, easily one of the, one of the things they could do. Uh, they do kind of wrestler sub pages where you look up a wrestler. Well, you can already look up a wrestler, but they can have their own pages where they have their. I don't know if they do best matches or just shows that they were heavily featured on. Uh, be able to do this with more uh, with some people than others, obviously. But that'd be some cool to see. And then also you can make your own playlist thing. Um, I don't know, just a playlist would be cool. You could do it on YouTube and everything. Just some I saw on YouTube that uh, they could easily put in the network. So I think that's pretty much all the enhancements that I have right now. Um, let me know if you have any ideas for the network, how they can gain more subscribers, try to get to that 900,000 mark or even a million mark. And um, yeah, I, re I really think adding that territory is going to help them reach their goal. There's a lot of dedicated fans out there uh, in international places so you got that um, so if you could leave a like comment what you think uh, maybe even subscribe that'd be great and I'll see you guys later